find a value c such that the derivative of this function evaluated at c is equal to the slope of the secant in this interval. So the derivative of the function at c in this case is equal to 2c plus 1. And that's equal to the slope of the secant, so that would be f of 1 minus f of minus 2 over 1 minus negative 2 by the mean value theorem. And therefore we get 2c plus 1 is equal to f of 1 which is 0 minus f of minus 2 which is also 0 over 1 minus negative 2. And therefore c is equal to minus a half. And I encourage you to actually plot this function and you'll see that the derivative at c is equal to the slope of the secant which we can see on the right hand side is equal to 0. Let's find the value c such that the derivative of the function here evaluated at c is equal to the slope of the secant in this interval. Well evaluating the derivative of this function at c gives minus 1 on c squared. And we equate that with the slope of the secant which is f of 2 minus f of minus 1 over 2 minus negative 1 by the mean value theorem. So what this gives is minus 1 on c squared is equal to 1 half minus negative 1 which is plus 1 over 3 so that would be minus 1 on c squared is equal to 3 on 2 on 3 which is 1 half. So therefore c squared is equal to minus 2 and there's no solution to this equation so there's no such value c in this interval where the slope of this curve is equal to the slope of the secant here on the right hand side. Given the following position time curve, we're asked to find the time at which the instantaneous velocity is equal to the average velocity in the closed interval from 1 to 2. Well the slope of the secant of the position time curve is the average velocity, so that's dx dt which is 5 minus 2 on 2 minus 1 or 3 meters per second. And now using the mean value theorem we can find x dash of c so the derivative of this function is 2t and from this derivative we get 2c. And now by the mean value theorem if we equate these two together we get 2c is equal to 3 or c is equal to 1.5 seconds. So therefore at 1.5 seconds the instantaneous velocity which is the slope of the tangent to this curve is equal to the average velocity which is the slope of the secant in the closed interval from 1 to 2 seconds.